devastation, high school bands are finding harmony in the recovery process. Tonight, a spring concert grew into something much more. CBS 42's Mike McClanahan reports on these young musicians who decided this time to march to the beat of a different drummer. The moment a high school student crosses that stage to receive their diploma, it's filled with many emotions. Tonight's graduation from Jackson Olin High School was extra emotional. Just three weeks ago, many of these students huddled with their families as a tornado roared overhead. Since that day, their lives have been filled with chaos and confusion. This night, their graduation offered for many the first normal moment since April 27th. Students at Carver, Parker, and Ramsey also graduated this week. Well, they survived the worst Mother Nature can dish out. Now they're trying to survive the worst of human nature. CBS 42's Al Ratcliffe looks at how police are dealing with looters. Cordova was Montgomery. Brad's got it all tomorrow night. Wonderful. All yeah. right. Thanks, Jim. Hey, before you go, though, I want you all, including all of you at home, to think back to your school days. At times, those days could drag on the same thing day after day, reading, writing, and of course, arithmetic. Then something unexpected would happen, something that made that day a little bit more fun. And for dozens of schools this year, that fun came courtesy of the one and only Mr. Ken Lass. <laughs> yeah, me and that $1,000 check I happen to be carrying with me. It's been another great year for CBS 42's One Class at a Time project. And as the school year draws to a close, let's take a look at some of the highlights. A massive drug roundup in Etowah County lands dozens behind bars, but one arrest in particular is catching a lot of attention. It's the arrest of Con Posey. Investigators say the 60-year-old restaurant owner was selling prescription hydrocodone pills out of the pickup window of her restaurant. The system, a customer would call and request egg rolls and a special. Well, that special was a lower tab or Oxycontin for 10 bucks, and then they would walk up and pay at the window. I just can't believe that happened, so, but she's a very nice lady and stuff. And the egg roll is pretty, pretty good, so uh, it's just shocking to all of us. A total of 70 people were taken into custody in the roundup. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty. Unfortunately, it's not unusual to hear of a city or county official landing on the wrong side of the law. But what is unusual is when an entire county commission is arrested on felony charges. All five members of the Bullock County's commission are under a grand jury indictment. They face various charges relating to bid laws and ethics violations. If convicted, each commissioner faces up to 10 years in jail and fines up to $15,000. Still ahead, grab your calendar, get ready to make some big plans. Music, great food, and the most fun a family can possibly have. We're going to tell you where you can find it when CBS 42 News at 10 continues. Springtime means festival fun in central Alabama. Around Shelby County, it also means City Fest, an event that brings more than 70,000 people to Alabaster. Mark your calendar for June 4th. That's when the fun begins. City Fest, you know, it always means great food, incredible music, family friendly games, and even a classic antique car show. 100% Free. I used to have a Vertical Horizon t-shirt. Did you really? Did. Yes. Did you really? <laughs> I did. Are you going to wear it out there? Had a, I got to find it. I just in a box. I had a VH on it. It was cool. Get in the front row. <laughs> Let's quickly show you the seven day. We've got vertical boxes here and the horizon <laughs> shows lots of sunshine. I can't top the shirt, but low 90s this weekend. Get ready. It's about to feel like summer again. All right. You're bringing that t-shirt tomorrow, by the way. That's our time. Thanks for joining us. David Letterman is next. Wake Up Alabama starts at five. Good. Shopping